Okay, I'm going to play Iron Helm by Jason Glover. And uh, I'm playing with the new, the newest dungeon, or I guess the second dungeon deck, which is interesting because it adds a lot of variation and new features, some more difficult encounters, but also some extra help for when bad stuff happens. I'm also playing with the fanny pack, which is really awesome. It has a lot of fan content in it. And I've put all the fanny pack cards actually shuffled and put them on top of the decks because I want to experience them. I'm using Nanok the Barbarian which, with his lovely fanny pack. Um, I begin the game with the fanny pack, which lets me carry up to three accessories without affecting encumbrance. And I start with parry, which lets me block initial damage with a dice roll. Um, it is kind of risky to use, so I don't love it, but we'll see. I chose the axe, purchased that with my starting money. And I'm also from the, uh, the Lonely Troll Inn pack. I've hired a henchman, Olive. Olive spent many years as a healer in the northern peaks of Norcia. When at the campsite, she will tend to your wounds, removing all poison. Whenever you defeat a foe that has six or more health, Olive will lose one morale. I actually don't see it on the rules, but I'm assuming that when the morale runs out, then the henchman leaves. Leaves you. Uh, I know you can increase their morale by giving them, paying them gold. So we'll see. Also from the um, the expansion. What's it called? Iron Chest. I've got this lovely adventure card, which is nice and big, and uh, has random encounters between levels, which is super interesting. And I'm this is the uh, morale track. I'm not going to explain how to play the game, but hopefully, um, as I play it, you uh, you'll see. All right, let's get started. So I'm diving into the dungeon. I have my health, my ration. I draw two cards and I reveal one. False idol. Your eyes lock onto a huge evil statue carved into the wall. It's begging you to be it's begging to be worshipped. What shall you do? I can beg for power. Move down space on the morality. Hmm. I think I forgot to start with my energy. That's what I forgot. Three, six, nine, twelve. There's my energy. All right. Or I can beg for wealth, move down one space on the morality tracker, gain two gold on potion, uh, beg for your life, move down one space, gain two health and one ration. I'm not going to do any of these because I am maxed out. I mean, I could take the ration, but ignore the false idol lets me move up on the morality. So I'm now a little bit more of a good person, uh, but I lose a health. Um, I'm keeping these in stacks of three, um, but that makes it really hard for you to see. So I guess I'll spread them out. Um... I could have taken the second card, but this early in the game, it could really be anything, and it makes it worse if it's a bad thing. So I'm going to go with this card. All right. Next room. So I look at one and have another one face down. Labyrinth. Surely your cunning will see you out of this wizard's maze. Discard one ration. If you have none, lose three health, and then gain a gold. Uh, I have to eat this, but at the end of the level, and I don't like running on zero rations. So I think I will scrap this one and choose the second one. Clearing. Draw and resolve a plot card. Okay. That's a plot. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. I haven't looked at these ahead of time. Goblin King. You may avoid this conflict by discarding loot and a trapping card with a total combined value for one. No, thanks. All right, looks like I'm fighting a Goblin King. Um, this adds four eyeballs, and when we get to 10, that actually ends the game and we fight the boss. 
interesting. So his health starts at 13 plus the dungeon level, so uh, two, there we go, that's his health. Okay, so he initially hits me with two dice and that's a miss, because a double roll is a miss. And now I get to spend energy to attack him back with my axe. Um, he's pretty strong. I'm going to actually spend three energy. For each energy, I get a dice. And the total is eight. All right, I'll just take this one down to four. He has six health left. Yeesh, okay. He attacks two dice and you always subtract. So six minus five is one. Um, oh, shoot, I forgot. I have to add this. So the first one was a miss, but this is his, his damage. So it's one plus three is four. Ouch, okay, that's rough to lose four health. All right. Hmm. This interesting thing about this game is um, you can't run away or anything. You just have to keep going. So I'm going to, it's all about how much energy you use. Six health, I'm gonna spend two energy Um, to roll two dice. And I get an eight, and that defeats him. Yay! So, for defeating him, I get a loot of number two. Number two is uh, both a loot card and a potion card. Ooh! May add an additional die to your attack roll at the cost of one gold. Hmm. It's not necessarily better than my axe, but let's see if I can carry it. I have a total strength of six, and I'm already carrying... Um... Oh, well the nice thing is my fanny pack, this, can go, this ice potion can go right in. To my fanny pack and I can hold on to this I think I'll make it my primary weapon and I might be able to sell the axe or something like that it's good for a final blow on something because you can throw it okay olive uh, removes poison and whenever you defeat a foe with six or more health she loses the morale so she goes down one okay so I'm going to put him in my pile of defeated enemies. I think over here is fine. Actually, maybe I'll just keep the defeated enemies here until I use them for a skill. So uh, I have to look up the skill thing. How many, I, how many dudes do I need? To upgrade my skill. Is that the appendix, maybe? Do, 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 do. Skills. Skill advancement. Three enemy cards, you can spend them. Uh, five if it's outside my proficiency. Nanak is a uh, brawn. So, there we go. Okay, next. That was interesting. Draw two cards. Skirmish. So I can either face the skirmish at level one or draw the next card and it'll be at level two. Uh, draw your weapon, add enemy card. Um, 
I'll pass on the skirmish and reveal the next card. Campsite. You spot a relatively quiet location to set up a camp. It will not be long before you attract attention. Choose one thing. I can cook. Spend a ration to gain energy. I can search to gain a ration and a gold. Or rest to spend a ration and gain three health and lose a poison. Hmm. I think I'll gain a ration and a gold by searching. I might regret this. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. I didn't actually look at them, but you probably saw them. I'll just shuffle those again. Take two. Ambush. You catch your foe by surprise. Ooh. I think I'm going to take this one. Draw an enemy card, ignore their initial damage, and add three damage to your first attack. Okay. Here we go with an ambush. Got assassin. All right. Oh, nice. So we did draw an ambush card, but it's not the second card. It was we took the ambush on the first draw. All right. So he has four health plus um, plus the dungeon level, so he has five. And he doesn't do initial damage. Lucky. You think I can get away with one? I'm gonna go in with the greedy Zwei hander. You may add an additional die. Hmm. I'll save that for later. I'm gonna spend. Spent two energy to not take any. Oh, I do an additional three damage, so I'm just going to spend one energy. I only get one dice, but I'm adding three to it. Five, and I defeat him. Nice. My loot is uh, one is either a gold or a loot card. Uh, I'll take gold. All right, another ambush. Yep, I'll take it. More lock. You may discard a torch or use a lamp to defeat. Uh, that's okay, I'm ignoring initial damage anyways because I ambushed him. His total health is gonna be six once we add our dungeon level. And again, because of the ambush, I get a plus three, so. I'm going to just spend one energy. And the total, 3 plus 3 is 6. He's defeated. And for the loot, uh, I'll take a loot. Whoa. Subtract 1 from initial damage, plus 1 damage the sum of attack rolls. I can use two-handed weapons. Whoa. I can use this with the Zweihander. My total encumbrance is at seven. Yee, I have to choose. Okay, I dropped my axe because I can't carry it all. This just lets you hold accessories, so AS. Okay. I can advance my skill of brawn if I want, and that sounds like a good idea. Let's see my skill deck here. Find the bronze. Brawn, brawn. Make sure I'm not missing any. Okay, shield block. Subtract, subtract an additional point when you have a shield or buckler. Oh, nice. Dual wield. Equip a dagger in your offhand. I'm going to go with shield block because it's initially applicable.
Nice, so I can subtract additional point of de dam initial damage with, a sh with my buckler. That's awesome. Okay, great. So I've spent these effectively. This one I'm going to put over with plots because I have to remember those eyeballs. Okay. Archangel. A flash of holy light causes you to freeze. When the brightness fades, you see the form of a woman with large wings. She's come to judge your deeds. Check your placement on the morality tracker. Oh, I'd gain a health because I'm at morale, morality one. Um, I forgot all of would have left. I just remember this because her morale went down from the fights from the six or more. You know what? I'll pay her one gold to stick around. Okay, so she is at one. Okay, Archangel. I think I'll take this card, so I gain a health. All right. Savage encounter. <sighs> Two enemies. Oh, I need to fight. Oh my goodness. I'm going to skip this and take the second one and... Mushroom. Ooh, and because it's my second card, I chose the second card, I get this. So you find yourself standing in a grove of mature mushrooms. Um, looks like I roll a die. <laughs> one. <laughs> Gain a ration. Okay. All right, nice. We're coming to the end of this level. Treasure. Yep, I'll take it. And the final level, final room. Before you stand, before you stands a grand fountain. You are drawn to it by a potent allure. Your eyes wide open, you cup your hand and ladle the warm liquid to your lips. Looks like there's a lot of stuff on here. There's a good chance of something good happening. I'm gonna go with the fountain, it's fun. That's not good. Draw an enemy card, I think the dungeon level. Oh, that's not, it's just a fight. But I, I really wanted that blessing token. Pit trap. If this was an ambush, you avoid it. Uh, in other cases, you lose d6 minus d6. I can't even fight it. Oh, it's not even an enemy. Okay. I lose three. All right, here we go. That was the end of that level. So, um, at the end of a level you move, but I think we do a plot first, I believe. The Looking Glass. As you approach the clearing, you see another walking in your direction. You quickly realize you are gazing in a mirror that covers an entire wall. You put your hand to it and your hand pushes through. I can walk into the looking glass or ignore it. Ah, it sounds, sounds fun. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. I don't know which dice this was. I'm gonna roll it down here. Four. You come through the other side and feel slightly larger. You may add one to your max encumbrance. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so I can carry seven? I have five. Cool. All right, 
Now, at the end of the level, we roll random encounter. I keep rolling ones, what the hell? Okay, trap. Roll a single six-sided die and refer to the following results. There's a five. Five to six gain zero poison. Oh, I am lucky. The trap was, was ineffective. Level two. What's gonna happen next? Just don't know. Okay. <sighs> Treasure. Oh, hang on. At the end of the level, I also need to eat food. Yeah. All right. Find an open chest. Um, yeah. I'm going to go for gold. Because I can use it with this guy to add a die, which is really fun. It's basically like gain energy for this. Oh man, I really want to avoid this. But it, it, it can be worse. So I'm going to go for it because there's a lot of bad stuff still in here. Draw two enemies. Choose one with the less health and discard it. Okay. Uh, I guess this is getting discarded. Giant spider. Every time he hits, your next attack costs extra energy. Oh my word. Okay. Dungeon level two. Base health six. We're at eight. Good thing is he is fairly... Uh, low damage at only two plus the the dice. Right, health is eight. Um, I subtract one from initial damage plus one of the sum of attack. Okay, and I have this nice shield block ability. An additional one. So whatever his attack is going to be, it's going to be reduced by two. Um, reduce that, so the total is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. Uh, he's especially weak to ice, and I have the ice potion, which I think I'll just go ahead and use. Um, 2d6 damage, plus 5. Wow, actually that seems like a waste on the spider. But I am pretty low on energy. So, it's worth it. Eight plus five is 13, all right. Wow, got him. Um, loot is zero, which is whatever. Labyrinth, oh. I can afford it. It's just a ration. Lose a ration. Gain a gold. Nice. I have this in the bag. All right, here we go. And campsite. I haven't gained any poison yet, so all of it hasn't been useful at all. Should I spend my ration in hopes that I'll get more? Uh, I'm going to spend my ration for three health because I am getting low. Hopefully I get a ration because you lose three health at the end if you can't eat. You'll notice I usually go with the first card. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely taking an ambush, because I get an advantage. 
So of course, flying snake. Ah, we're back to the base set for enemies now. You gain one poison with initial damage, but I am avoiding the initial damage. Amazing. Um, his health is three plus dungeon level, five. And I am rolling. Hmm. I'm just gonna roll one die by spending one energy. And add a second die by spending a gold, which is the power of this sword. Well, that was really good. He's defeated. Uh, zero loot. Alter. I can gain a blessing, energy, discard poison, or move up in morality. I love that. I love the art on this. It is so cool. I really like, I like the background a lot. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm taking a blessing. These come in handy at the end, at the end of the game, so I'll put it up here. So far I'm surviving. Take the clearing, yeah, I often take whatever the dungeon gives me because <laughs> I'm risk averse. The corpse. You trip over the corpse of a fellow adventurer. As you stagger to your feet, you realize the body belongs to a friend from years past. Should I bury it or take the money? <laughs> uh, I moved down on morality. But this costs an energy to bury him. totally going to do it. Spending energy to bury him, I move up on the morality track. It's worth it. It's worth it to be a good human. All right, an ambush. Yes, I'm taking the advantage. Zombies do not afflict initial damage. Welp. Fine. He only has three hit points, or four. It's dungeon level two. <sighs> uh, I'll just spend one. And a coin for an extra dice. Kill them. Uh, at least I get some loot. Should I take a loot card or a gold? Uh, I need the gold because of my ability. Final room. False idol. Now, I could take the second card instead. This is nice because I have some wiggle room with my morality. Um, I could use the ration so I don't lose health. Gain two health and a ration. I'm gonna beg for my life. So I have to lose a little morality by praying to this false idol. But here we go. This is good for me. I'm being selfish. That's the end of the level. I have to spin the ration I just got. And uh, next plot before I move on. Hid in, you smell roasting meats and hear the sound of laughter, clanking dishes. Hmm, the secret tavern, okay. I can eat and rest, or pay a gold for a meal. I can eat and rest to pay a gold for a meal, gain two health and an energy, or I can gamble. <laughs> Do I sound like the kind of person that gambles? I mean, yeah. I'm Nanak the Barbarian with a fanny pack. I'm going to eat and rest by the fire instead. Okay. Cost me one gold, but I gain two health and an energy. 
Who knows if that'll pay off long term. And I have 10 eyeballs. And that means I am now facing the boss. First, I get to choose a brawn skill, if it's relevant. Let's see what we got. Uh, yes, two bronze. Berserk. Okay, so I'm spending these three enemies. Berserk, you may spend two health to add an additional die to your attack roll. Wow. This could be this could come in handy. Alright, the boss we fight is going to be from the base set. And I'm gonna base it on the elements we established. So there's two fire, uh, one undead, and two ice. So it's between ice and fire. I'm just gonna roll uh, even odd. Even, we're going to fight the ice boss. And that is the lurker. Attacks from the lurker ignore defensive bonuses gained from shields or bucklers. Oh, are you serious? My shield is useless. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Boss, 22 health. Twenty-two. Okay, boss. I s do I get to uh Yeah, my shield is useless. I can block uh, initial damage with my primary weapon and then I'm but then I on a one will actually just lose the weapon. And I can definitely take a, take one hit. Oh, before the boss, we get this. Hang on. I'm going to actually look at that rule. Divine Visit. Flip over your blessing tokens. Blessing token is an energy. All right, let's see what his first hit does. Three minus two is one, plus five is six. Ouch. I don't have any, I don't really have anything. Olive, you were useless. Go away. <laughs> okay, let's attack him with everything I've got. I can do up to three energy. Um, so let's just do it. Eight, nine. Okay, and his damage is a miss. I'm very lucky. So a double is a miss. All right, I'm gonna spend one last energy and my two coins for three dice. 11. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I can spend two health to add an additional die to your attack roll. Am I allowed to do this, or is three the max? Let me check the combat rules.
you may spend up to three energy tokens. But it doesn't sp it doesn't say if you gain a dice from anything else. It causes. It doesn't say that the maximum dice is three. Um, I mean, the designer might have intended that you never use more than three, but I don't know. I think it's fun <laughs> to use. I'm erring on the side of fun, so I'm going to spend two health to add an additional die. This is probably cheating, isn't it? Okay, fine. Fine, I won't cheat. I should have done this before I rolled, I think. So, 11 means he has two left. So let's set this to a two and remove this. He gets to do another attack and rolls a... Four minus three is one, plus five is six. All right, I am close to dead, but I can do, I can spend two health to add an additional die. And I guess I'm not gonna be using any energy if I'm doing a bare fist, I guess. So I just get one die for that. And I killed him. Yay! All right. Um, I'm sure you guys probably detected some rules I misunderstood or something. Um, hey, if you leave a comment and tell me I got something wrong, I will fix it. And in the next game, I will play correctly. Um, and I really appreciate it. I appreciate you helping me stay accountable. So, I can count up my points, but I'm really more interested in the, uh, where did the, uh, the card go with the, the in thing? Huh, I don't know where it is. Is it in the loot and lore? Ah, the Lonely Troll. In between adventures, you find rest at the Lonely Troll. Refresh your health and energy, starting levels, and remove all poisons. Spend your gold on any items in the trappings decks. You may trade any remaining enemy cards as trophies, getting one gold each. Um, I mean, I didn't have any enemies left, so I don't, I don't have any gold left, so going into my next session, I won't have any extras. There you have it. Unless you think I cheated, Nanak the Barbarian uh, completed level one, and next time I will play at level two. Thanks for watching.